Hola lovelies, this is Zoe, and today I want to talk about this article that I found on the app Newsbreak. Geraldo Rivera, two Latino men, a vote for Trump is a vote against self-respect. Television personality and former Trump ally, Arnaldo Rivera is urging Latino men against voting for former President Trump, writing that a vote for Trump is a vote against self-respect. Rivera's comments come amid widespread outcry over remarks by comedian Tony Hinchcliffe at Trump's Madison Garden rally on Sunday night. Hinchcliffe, who goes by Kill Tony, compared Puerto Rico to a floating island of garbage and made jokes about how Latinos love making babies. F these racists, Latino men of goodwill, have pride in yourselves and your ancestors. Rivera wrote on the social platform X, a vote for Trump is a vote against self-respect. A former Fox News reporter and Trump ally, Rivera is backing Vice President Harris in the upcoming election. In retrospect, I wish I had bailed on the Trump train a lot sooner before he threatened the Constitution of the United States with its utter destruction, Rivera told MSNBC's Ari Melber on The Beat last week. The Trump campaign has already started distancing itself from Hinchcliffe's comments, with senior advisor Danielle Alvarez saying the jokes do not reflect the views of President Trump or the campaign in a statement. Spokesperson Caroline Levitt also made a Monday morning appearance on Fox News and said the jokes were made in poor taste. Okay, that was all that Gerardo had to say. And I'm thankful that a Latino male celebrity came out and spoke on this because because I was concerned about the amount of Latino voters. I was concerned by the amount of Latinos that were voting for Trump. And like I said in the past, I don't care if Latinos want to support Trump, but I just don't see him as the perfect fit for America. And I know Kamala may not be any better, but I think that she is a better choice than Trump. And and I'm glad that Geraldo actually um, spoke up about this. And I'm glad that it was a man that said it because I felt like if a woman had said this, you know, um, she would have been either silenced or they would have just swept it under the rug. And I know a lot of men, they look up to men and some men only listen to other men. They don't really listen to a woman like that. So I think this and Geraldo wasn't the only one that spoke up. It was um, two other men that spoke up and I'm gonna um, talk about them a little bit later, but. And this Sunday, a lot of Latinos got their wake up call. I have been saying that a lot of Latinos shouldn't vote for Trump because he isn't for us. And and a lot of Latinos effed around and found out that Trump is racist. And I already knew that way before, way before Trump and his team invited this comedian named Tony Hinchcliffe. And I feel like this rally woke a lot of Latino Trump supporters up and that's a good thing. And I know that some are still going to vote for him. I've seen a lot of Latinos here on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, still making excuses for him and they're still going to vote. And I know a lot of people are saying, well, well, he only talked about Puerto Rico. He didn't talk about any other Latino country, even though all Americans see all Latinos the same. And his comments about Puerto Rico were disgusting and I already did a video about it on my YouTube and I think um, a lot of Latinos um, you know it's too late for some of them like a lot of Latinos already voted so I feel like that's why a lot of Latinos are angry because they can't change their vote even though they already voted for this racist man and that's why it's not a good thing to always vote early. I usually like to um, vote 
one week before the election or I like to vote on election day, it depends. But I know that Trump doesn't have my vote and he never had my vote. I know in the stats, um, they say that a lot of Latino men are conservatives and a lot of them like to vote red and a lot of us Latinas like to vote blue and we're more on the Democrat side. And I know that a lot of people don't like Kamala for you know various reasons. I know one of it is because of sexism, a lot of men don't think she can run the country. <laughs> They don't think she can run the country as good as a, you know, male president. And a lot of people don't want to vote for her because of her race, even though her race shouldn't make her, you know, unqualified to become president. And there's so much other stuff. And as a Latina, I want to add that the comments he said about African-Americans and the stereotype about them all liking watermelon. I found those comments disgusting too, but I know a lot of people online are barely talking about that. I don't seen black people talking about the watermelon thing, but I just want to add that both comments that um, Tony Hinchcliffe said about both the African-American and Latino community were terrible, disgusting, and and I hope that this also woke up a lot of African Americans, especially black American men, because I know a lot of black American men had voting for Trump instead of Kamala. Um, I have found an article that said a lot of black men and Latino men who are in their 20s, basically Generation Z and Generation Alpha are voting for Trump. And I don't know why, but... Um, He's not for black Americans or Latino Americans. And this is proof right here that he, he doesn't care about Latinos because if he did, he wouldn't have hired or he wouldn't have brought um, Tony Hinchcliffe to speak at the rally. And obviously he was okay with, you know, inviting this man because, you know, they both have the same views both Trump and his team are just as racist as Tony Hinchcliffe. Uh, I want to add that Ronaldo Rivera wasn't the only male that spoke out. There were two black male celebrities that spoke out. Um, one of them was former President Barack Obama. You're thinking about sitting out or even supporting somebody who has a history of denigrating you because you think that's a, a sign of strength because that's what being a man is, putting women down. That's not acceptable. Named Dr. Jamal Bryant and they both have videos um, calling the black American men out about voting for Kamala and they saying that they need to put their male ego aside and basically if you vote for Trump you're basically voting against yourself and your community. It's nice to see three male celebrities coming out and calling out the male collective because usually men, they, they love to call out just women, but this time it's nice to see men, you know, speaking up and calling men out on this because um, I feel like any Latino male or African-American man that votes for Trump just doesn't care about their community, especially their women, because um, well, I know a lot of people didn't read, um, you know, what's going to happen um, on the Project 2025, but y'all, some of y'all know that he's trying to take away women's rights, and a lot of Latino men and African American men have daughters and wives, and I say, if you care about the women in your family, 
You wouldn't vote for a man that's trying to take away women's rights. You wouldn't vote for a man that had said ground by the peas. And like I said, we're all grown. We're all adults, so, you know, I can't tell nobody who to vote for. If you want to vote for Trump, that's fine. If you want to vote for Kamala, that's fine. But I know that um, this fiasco that happened this Sunday at at Trump's rally, it kind of helped Kamala out, which is a good thing. And I said that thanks to um, Tony Hinchcliffe that Kamala Harris might win because I know a lot of um, Latinos, especially Puerto Ricans, are unhappy about this. And I remember reading the article on Monday. They said the um, ballot box was on fire. They blew up the um, ballot box after what um, was said at Trump's rally on Sunday. So really this helped Kamala and Trump Trump is basically probably going to have a hell on his hands, but I doubt it because I know a lot of people voted early. So the Latinos and black people that already voted for Trump, well, it's like too late and oh well. But, but yeah, we'll see. Well, that's all I have to say about this. Please tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.